Hi, Lisa here. So another coaching mistake that I see that is just so incredibly common, and frankly, if I am to be completely transparent, this was one of my huge growth edges myself. So this common mistake is asking the most complicated question you possibly can ask or stacking multiple questions over and over again. So not even over and over again, but it sounds a little like this. So client, what do you think about that? I mean, like if you were really just to sit with it and just sort of contemplate how that felt in your body, what are you noticing and when are you noticing it? And also like when you think about it, how might you do something different with it? Now that's like a bundle of questions right there. And often the client either A, doesn't know what to do with it. So they'll either go, huh? Or they'll just answer the last question they comprehended. It is so confusing for people when coaches ask more than one simple question. The other way that this shows up is we are sharing a perspective. Like, client, I noticed that as you're saying that, I'm hearing what sounds to me to be self-judgment. And I mean, I'm not sure that it's self-judgment, so I don't want to assume anything, but I just wanted to kind of get some clarity around what it is that might be going on in your internal narrative and if that's important for us to explore right now. That question could be summed up very simply. I'm noticing what sounds like some judgment to me. What would be useful to explore here? That would be the sort of direct communication, sharing an observation or an intuitive hit, and then asking a question. As my uh, mentor coaching clients like to say, reflect and then ask a question. So there are really simple ways to ask questions and the concise simplicity of a question honestly is what makes it powerful. What ends up making it evocative is that it asks the client about something internal to them. So all of those examples I gave, any one of those questions would have invited the client inward. What are you noticing? What did you, what was your experience of that? How did you feel when you heard yourself say that? Any kind of question like that, it invites the client to go internally. Therefore, it's evocative. But if we layer it and layer it and layer it and layer it and pad it all around it to make it feel more comfortable to us as the coach, we may lose our client in the question itself. So make those questions as concise as possible. I honestly believe doing transcript analysis of your coaching sessions is one of the most helpful reflective tools, but also just developmental tools that I've used in my own coaching. So I get a transcript and I start looking at these stacked questions that I have and highlight this one was the most useful. I could have just said that question. So I hope this is useful and see you on another common coaching mistakes.